Whenever I find myself uninspired, I simply check out some vinyl only releases and let myself inspire by those, right? So lately I let myself inspire by a track from Christy Cons, fast driven, groovy, romanimal track. And I want to share in this week's video what key ingredients in my opinion makes uh, a, drive, a track drive more. And I want to share it in this specific video with you so you can adapt and hopefully let yourself inspire by the track from Christy Cons, but also by the findings I share with you in this video. So you can also make your very own version um, out of that and hopefully make driving fast driven groovy Romanimal tracks if this is what you want. Ready? Let's jump in. Hey friends, Solano here from RuffyStudio.com. Uh, first of all, I need to apologize about the background and whatnot. A good friend of mine, is a, he has a video company and he probably would get pissed off if he sees this setup. But um, I don't want to miss any videos, weekly videos, so I want to help you out on a weekly basis like I promised. So currently I'm traveling and hopefully you don't mind if the environment changes uh, but I want to keep up with the videos and hopefully inspire you on a weekly basis so enough about talking now I want to give you something actionable which is my soft but snappy Romanimal Ableton Live kick template if you haven't downloaded it if you're lurking on my videos for some time and using Ableton and sometimes finding painful to search for new kicks you know because I found often when I add a kick in the first place it fits perfectly but if I add more elements to a track on some level I found that specific kick that I added in the first place doesn't fit into the track anymore with the rest of the added elements right so I created a little template that you can really customize very quickly with some dials and it's Ableton Live stock plugin based. So if you want that, you can quickly download it on the link below. And of course it's for free. Now let's jump over to this week's video, how to make a groove driven, fast, Christy Cones kind of track. If you like that, hopefully it's in it is inspiring to you. Let's jump over to Ableton. All right, so for this week's video, I want to share some findings for a more groove driven, or minimal track that, that actually was inspired by Christy Cons. I play quickly the track so you get the idea of it. The inspired version which sounds like this. And so on, right? So I want to talk a little bit about um, six key ingredients, in my opinion, that uh, yeah makes a driving Roman mood track like uh, this one and maybe also Christy Cohn's one, right? Um, and key ingredient number one for me, or in my opinion, is um, the baseline. On Christy's track, I found straightforward baseline, simple one, but it's just use a few notes. Right, here we can hear it. 
just plays a few notes do 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 and then use what I made now as a comparison here you can see just three different notes right let's play it in solo again Now I made a, another version with longer notes. Also those notes are kind of short played, I would say. Now this is the second version, right? But ha listen what happens to the track, to the drive and whatnot. In my opinion, it has more groove, maybe, but less drive than the other bass line. Just want to give you an example, so you hear maybe the difference. Could also work, right? straightforward version Second thing is really simple, fast BPM, right? If you check the reference track, we have 129 BPM. I hope this is correct. So I've also chosen quite a high uh, BPM or a fast BPM. ingredient in my opinion is for a driving track is um, some sort of open hi-hat right so this is kind of a layer to this one But now let's shorten those hi hats here and see how the drive changes. But just shorten those. Now make it longer again. Right? Very subtle things, but very important, right? For giving drive. Fourth one is really uh, some kind of rolling hi hats or snares. This is actually a hi hat, but it sounds more like a snare. Um, I use this freeware tool, Tattoo, and I really like it because it's very simple to get random notes very quickly out of it. And uh, listen to this one. Those are hope open heads, but it sound more like a snare, right? Those kind of feels, right? Context.
prison without them. No drive, right? This is the gun somehow. I set them again. Even if we just run them in the background a little bit. Very important. Some drive. Now the fifth element, I like to call it, yeah, background layers. So what is it? So this is basically the main drums. Very boring. So what, what I did was simply duplicate that and replace it with another um, Ableton stock kit, right? And here I use Insta Minimal with the snare pattern number one, and here I use it with a different pattern, right? So basically, it just plays a different pattern. Then I duplicate it again and did the same thing again, just adjusted some patterns. Here another layer. Right? Just to give a little bit more support to the clap snare kind of thing. Without Sudden, this one, but still important, right? And then the last element for adding groove to your tracks or writing a groove driven drum minimal track is what I call groove elements basically, uh, yeah, faster played melodic. Thing. It doesn't need to be melodic, but uh, it can also be percussion or whatnot. But um, this is basically just a duplication of the bass line, I guess. With a different, different preset, and I think pitched up a little bit. And with my favorite tool, Tantra. And looperator for some random space and whatnot. Without Tantra. Right. This also gives a lot of drive in the background. Muting it. Also mute the other layer. And tattoo. And this one. No drive, of course. In that way, it's also very easy to write uh, an arrangement, right? So bring stuff in and out, um, taking the drive a little bit away and then adding in again, um, because arrangement is all about bringing things in and out, tension and release, right? And um, that's easy to do because we built in some um, drive giving elements into the track, so yeah. Hope this was helpful and inspiring to sum it up again very quickly. Number one, bass line. Using a simple bass line, not too many notes, not played too long. Played often, kind of, right? 
then we have um, a hi-hat layer to the I call it straight hi-hat um, kind of a open hat to give some drive right Then number three, BPM, of course, higher BPM, so it plays faster, maybe it gives more drive. Then number four, adding some rolling hi-hats or snares or whatnot, just something that is a little bit, yeah, building up or, uh, yeah, rolling. Number five, we have something that I call background layers, which basically can be a duplication of the main beat or yeah it doesn't need to be a duplication just um, um, something that gives another layer to the main to the core drums to spice it up to give more drive and uh, that is not so obvious in my opinion last element for giving more drive to your tracks is um, adding groove elements I call it that way um, and I do so with um, or not always but uh, in this case I did with um, duplication of the baseline pitching it up a little bit adjusting it switching up the sound and then using a sequenced effect plugin from Tantra that is called Tantra 2 right and uh, also looperator for random space and whatnot those are all elements key ingredients in my opinion that um, gives a lot of drive to a track right if you want if you want that so yeah, I hope this was helpful and inspiring. Hope to see you next week in another video. And if you want to add groove and drive to your tracks with a kick, starting out with a simple kick, then I recommend that you download my soft but snappy Roman Hipton Live kick template. Yeah, hope you like it. Hope to see you next week. Thanks for your time. Cheers.